time I was four years old, horses were my only interest until I got about 15, discovered girls, and then horses and girls, that was it. I mean, I love horses. If I'm around a horse, you don't exist. For as long as he can remember, Clifton resident Jack Walker has always loved horses and the cowboy way of life. It's no surprise he became one himself, but as they say, love is blind. And for Jack, his love of ranching kept him from seeing his own hidden talents for decades. That is, until one fateful night in 1999. This ranch I was on was 80 miles from the nearest grocery store. No television reception. I didn't go to town much. So at night, I would sit around and play my guitar or mess with this clay. And I had an old uh, friend there with me that worked with us sometimes. And I had him sit down and decide to do a bust of him. I did this bust, and I didn't know how to start one or anything. I had it on a melamine plate. My wife came to visit and she brought that head in there one evening after work. Who, who put Gail's head on a plate? I said, I did that. She said, why didn't you tell me you could do this? I didn't know I could. And when Jack's wife Fran saw what he could do, she took the reins to steer him down a new path. She says, cowboy, you better find a way to say goodbye to these cows because we're going to be an artist. I said, Fran, there's a million artists out there trying to make a living, you know. She said, well, there's two million cowboys not making a living, so why don't you try to be an artist? <laughs> she had a good point. Oh, she's brilliant, brilliant. Seemingly overnight, Jack Walker went from Walker, Texas rancher to bona fide cowboy sculptor. Now he spends his days not on the ranch, but in a restaurant where he sits in public crafting his clay creations for all to see. Are you a cowgirl? I bet you I see him. I can spot them. I've done it all in a public setting. I can hardly do it if there's not some people watching. I've had artists tell me, say, I don't know how you sculpt with people watching you. I say, well, I don't know how you sculpt without people watching you. How does it feel to go just almost suddenly from cowboy to artist? It's surreal. I, everyone says, Jack, I'm amazed that you can do that. Well, you're no more amazed than I am. You didn't believe you were an artist, did you? No, in fact, it makes the hair stand up on the back of my neck still when people say, you're an artist. This is what I always do when I see a cowgirl. Take that home with you and make something. When Jack first hopped off the saddle and picked up sculpting, he never imagined the amount of people his artwork would speak to. And while every cowboy misses the ways of the ranch the minute they walk away from the stable, Jack's been able to stay connected to his roots by sculpting what he's always dearly loved, horses and the symbols of country life. Where's this all going? Do you, you just suddenly one day I don't quit? Or do you keep going forever? Or? I don't see any reason to quit as long as I can see. You might have noticed I'm doing larger and larger stuff now. <laughs> There's a reason for that. <laughs> as the eyesight fades, the, the art gets bigger. The, the detail on the small ones gets a little bit more smudgy. But you're still having fun. Oh, I love it. I love it. Thanks for hopping in and traveling with us. Now click the subscribe button for more videos like the one you just saw.